Hey everyone, my name is Mackenzie Amadeo and I am currently in Nicole Drana's English 201 class. So the topic I will be discussing throughout this video is mental health among student athletes. This is an important topic for me to talk about because I am a student athlete myself and so being around it 24-7 I see firsthand how mental health can affect athletes lives on a daily basis. One of the most recent tragedies in the collegiate sports world that I will be talking about is the recent passing of James Madison University softball standout Lauren Barnett. While all student athletes' deaths shocked the world, this one hit a little different and hit a little closer to home to not only me, but plenty of other people. Lauren played softball at JMU, and prior to her death, we played JMU about three weeks ago. So hearing the news of her death shocked me, my teammates, my coaches, and the whole softball world as one. 24 hours before her passing, she just came off winning CAA Weekly Honors and being CAA Player of the Week. She, she maintained these honors by hitting 800 off the series win at Drexel. Anyone about softball or baseball knows hitting 800 is pretty much perfect without being perfect. If you fail 7 out of 10 times, you are considered a great hitter. So for her to fail 2 times out of 10, that was extremely amazing. So while other athletes might feel on top of the world while playing like this, she still felt as her life wasn't worth living, which has a lot to say. So while saying all this, we are losing student athletes at an alarming rate, with just losing four in the past month. We are always quick to judge the coach, coach and push it all on the coach when, yes, the coach might play a role in the situation, but they are not the only ones to blame and many other people are involved. Coaches are not trained specialists. So with that being said, when is the NCAA going to mandate that there be sports psychologists in every athletic department? And how many more athletes have to lose their, health, lose their battle to mental health for us to start taking this seriously and for a change to be made? A study that was put out by Mental Health and Athletes article published in 2022 shows that 35% of elite athletes suffer from a mental health crisis which manifests as stress, eating disorders, burnout, depression, or anxiety. With that being said, this only accounts for the athletes that the article considered to be elite or athletes that had the enough strength to come forward and find help for themselves. Also in the article, Mental Health and Athletes, published in 2022, the article also stated that out of collegiate athletes with mental health conditions, only 10% do. What is meant by this is that out of collegiate athletes, only 10% seek help. So all these stats are not accounting for collegiate athletes that are not strong enough, okay. not willing enough, or just don't have the courage or strength to go seek help. So that does not account for total collegiate athletes with mental health conditions. Coming forward as a student athlete is extremely hard. Student athletes are expected to not only be stronger physically, but mentally as well. Student athletes are expected to overcome diversity we face and push through just about anything, and if not, we are seen as weak. That for me personally is one reason I don't seek help as much as I should because I don't want to be seen as weak and I know many other athletes and my teammates feel the exact same way. The NCAA does not regulate or do anything to mandate how programs approach mental health or how programs should go about dealing with it, yet they will only comment when a tragedy strikes and that is just not enough for collegiate sports or sports in general. Athletes and programs do not deserve this type of treatment. According from an article published by the Washington Post about two decades ago, the ratio to counselor to athlete was 1,500 athletes per every counselor. While this number is improving to 155 athletes to every counselor at the University of Arkansas, that number is still unacceptable. Collegiate athletes lack the mental health resources they truly need in order to thrive. Resources are once provided once a tragedy strikes or once it is too late and that is just not acceptable. People only start caring when it is too late. An article published by The Ringer stated that as of January 2014, fewer than 25 Division I schools had a full-time licensed mental health practitioner on staff in the athletic department. So with that, you can imagine about Division II, Division III, and other collegiate programs. Now that number has raised to 39%, but it is still very lacking when considering the number of all college athletes. The NCAA struggles with providing resources because it looks over 1,100 different schools. But no matter if you attend a junior college or a Division I Power 5 school, student athletes all share the same mental health struggles. 
but you can assume that schools like Alabama or UCLA are going to be exposed to better resources than your local community college. And that is a very sad thought. So because all schools are not provided with or exposed to the same type of resources, I believe that the NCAA could step up and place some mandates. Some mandates that could help start a change with mental, are mental health screenings, policies that assign health care workers to university or schools, and a mandatory QPR training for coaches, athletes, and all, all of those that are associated with collegiate athletes. QPR training stands for Question, Persuade, and Refer, and it is a training for suicide prevention. Its purpose is to help authorities recognize the warning signs of a suicide crisis and also tell them how to respond. These are only a few ideas that could help spark a change in the collegiate sports world. So all this goes to say that this is a very important topic in our world as sports are a part of so many lives. And if we do not make a change, this will keep happening. And at what point do how many students have to lose their lives to mental health for this to become important to us and take a stand? So student athletes are taking a stand. We need other people to stand with us in the NCAA and all authorities to care and be more involved.